Hi. So when I ordered my last jug of cactus juice, I see Curtis is selling PID controllers to control the heat in your uh, oven. This is one I built for uh, when I was making waste oil heaters. They work great. Trust me, buy one from him. It's a lot easier than building your own and then trying to figure out how to program it. Programming is not right. He says he calibrates his wonderful thing. Anyway, this is how it works. I'm using my Presto cooker and using it. I had to put a insulation around it so it uh, would can control the heat a little better. I have this one set at 190 degrees. I should have read his information. He sets his at 180 next time. Anyway, it worked great. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description section, too, of a guy that really shows you how to set them. There's a hundred how to set them on the uh, YouTube. This guy, it's a long, long video, and it really shows it. Anyway, it maintains it right at 191 degrees, no problem. Works great. You can't really see it real well in the next pictures here. I'm showing you the blocks. These are double dyed and then cooked with the uh, PID controller. You can see in the bottom of the cooker, there's uh, on that silicone mat down there, you can see the cookout. A lot less cookout you're doing it this way. And I think it'll be a lot less when I go back and set reset the controller to 180 degrees as opposed to 190. Anyway, the thing works great. Uh, so if you're thinking about one, buy one from Curtis. Looks like a good product. I did set this up on a toaster oven also, but I hadn't cooked anything with it yet. Maybe I'll do another video and cook it in the toaster oven. But it works on either. Great idea. Glad he come up with it. Okay, here's what they look like. And here's a, and I'll show a comparison of the last ones I cooked the regular way. All right, thanks for watching.